Commercial to come in just a moment. We'll be right back. Start with play number 10. There it is. Well, you know, when you hit the post in hockey, it always seems to bring a big chorus of disbelief from the fans. But when you hit the post in football, like Terry Baker did in last week's East semifinal, here it is. Oh, bonk. It brings a chorus of swearing. There's no disbelief. Not to mention a loss. In this case, the Riders lost by one point. Play number nine. I made no secret. I'm not a big Eric Lindros fan, but he sure become a fixture on our top ten list while visiting the Montreal Forum. Eric got a bee in his bonnet and laid a couple of really mean hits on Todd Ewan and John LeClaire. Here's play number eight. Table ten or ping pong, I guess when you played in your basement. Anytime I played it in the basement, though, it didn't look like this. No one had a big enough basement, for one thing. I guess they just build them bigger in China to accommodate the game. Play number seven from American College Football. Horace Copeland of the Miami Hurricanes. Known amongst his teammate as Old One Shoe. He drops a pass, does the flip. Peter Crispina replies with his own. All this for an incomplete pass. We'll have the touchdown celebration on next week's top ten. You don't want to miss it. Eric Lindros might be able to hit two in one game, but the Senators' Chris Luongo, who might only get one shift, has to make sure he makes the most of it. He gets two at once. The old domino effect, Stan Bruglia and Rob DeMaio. Play number five. Phoenix Cardinals going for the big play, but Deion Sanders intercepts, only to be dragged into the end zone. He'll surely give up two points. He gives it away to Tim McIver, who said, no way, I'm not taking it. Gives it back to Dion, who then proceeds to fumble it out of the end zone. Phoenix recovers. They gain about 50 yards on the play. Thanks a lot, Dion. Play number four, a motorcycle daredevil in China. They don't have the Snake River Canyon there, so he's going over the Great Wall of China. Nicely done. It wasn't until he was through that somebody said, you can just drive through the gate anytime you want. Play number three, Orlando Gluehand Pruitt of Mississippi State. The ball is knocked away in the end zone. Oh no, it's an incompletion. Think again. Dives and grabs for the spectacle grab and the accompanying touchdown. Play number two, Michael Jordan is a better basketball player than I. He's also better than the Minnesota Timberwolves. Three seconds to go, he lays in two. Then the Wolves are still stunned. He swipes it four points. Not bad for two seconds worth. Play number one, here it is again. Second week in a row, Steve Eiserman. This is a different play, of course. His 400th career goal scored from the seat of his pants. Steve Eisman, thanks very much for number one play of the week. Okay, 